continuing to do things that you have success with, uh, sustaining your play. And, you know, I thought we let our foot off the gas. Uh, it's one of those things, you mess with the game, the game messes with you. And sadly, we, we can't seem to learn that lesson. Uh, we saw that similar game at home versus Clippers. And uh, apparently we have sh short memories because um, into that second quarter, we got out of character a bit. Um, we started doing things that, uh, you know, went away from, you know, how we had played in the first quarter and had a lot of success. And I thought that changed the momentum for them. Um, you know, you go into half up 12 and then you start the third quarter, I think 11 and two run, all of a sudden the momentum has gone. Um, and then from that point on, it was, you know, they, they took control of the game. Please talk back to the next game about building winning habits. No, well, tonight was not one of those, those habits. In a game that is such an outlier like this, like how does that discard as a one-off? No, I can't because it's happened more than once, and it's happened in, in smaller doses, and maybe doesn't lead to a you know complete shift in momentum that we saw tonight. But I've seen it too many times from you know from a quarter or a four or five minute stretch. Um, you know, if, if we're really serious about being competitive. Um, we, we can't allow that to happen. The Rockets throw a bunch of threes every night. Uh, what was the disconnect between the scouting report and what they were able to do against you guys? A lot of them came off the dribble, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, which we know they're capable of. Um, Woods got going. I thought, you know, um, he saw one go in that was uncontested. And, you know, I think that, that kind of fueled his confidence. And once he got going, it's it, it becomes an issue. He hit seven in that third – or in the second half, rather. Um, uh, some of them were tough, but, you know, the fact that we were struggling to score, and I, you know, once again, I think that that led to some of the defensive lapses, but, um, you know, if we don't continue to play the right way, it's, we're not going to have a lot of success. Some of the problems we're hearing you guys talk about, even Casey and other kind of veterans on the defense bench were the same ones that you were bringing up earlier in the season. Um, is it just the defense hasn't sunk in because you have so many new important pieces, or why do you feel like you haven't like, made the progress maybe otherwise might happen? Well, I think that's part of it. I mean, we've, we've had a lot of moving pieces all season, um, but the reality is, um, you know, we, we, we got to help aid our own recovery. We got to find a way to get up to speed. To me, especially on the defensive end, that's the easier side of the ball. Um, and you know, some of it's just our, our lack of focus, uh, our attention to detail. Um, and then you got to have that competitive fire. I mean, you just got to want it. Sometimes it's not perfect. But if you give that extra effort, you know, good things usually happen. Coach, we had a really strong first half. They seemed a little tired in the second half. you think he's still trying to adjust to that starting role? Um, I don't know about that. Um, I, I, he did. He had a terrific start. Um, he, you know, made shots early, made plays, um, came out with great energy. Uh, but he wasn't alone in that, in that second half. We as a unit, uh, as a collective, uh, did not come out with the same approach. All right, we're going to Chase. Wes, um, what do you think made it so difficult to shut Christian Wood down once he started going? Because it seemed like you know, he started kind of chucking up threes and, and everything he was taking was going in. Yeah, I mean, it's tough when you allow guys to get a rhythm. You know, once they get going, it's – it's difficult. You know, the fact that we allowed that to happen, that's the, the bigger issue. Um, I thought our overall defense in the first half was solid. You know, I thought, you know, pretty mundane numbers. And, you know, they allowed, uh, we allowed them to get going early in the, in the third, and it just snowballed. Uh, you couple with that, the, the fact that we had uh, difficulty scoring. Um, you know, and I think once that happens, it affects not only the defensive end, but it starts to affect your, uh, your other offensive possessions. Because now you're pressing – you're not trusting, you're not moving the ball. I think everyone kind of thinks I got to make a play instead of continuing to play the right way, move the ball that, as we did in the first quarter. When things were going well, you mentioned moving the ball. Uh, what'd you see from Denny and his playmaking tonight? I thought he was solid, um, you know, especially early. Um, I think that's another strength that we've seen him um, display, um, especially in pick and rolls, but in the open floor, uh, I think he's got a good feel. He can, he, can, he can pass, play, make, and he's showing a more consistent level of finishing in the paint. Josh. Coach, on the offensive end, why did you 
sense that uh, your team seemed to launch a lot of threes early in the clock and, and, and lost really some of the ball movement and the cohesion it, it showed in the first 18 to 20 minutes of the game? That's a good question, Josh. I mean, it's a question that I'm continuing to answer. Um, we've seen this from time and time again. We have to find ways to sustain success. Uh, and we tend to go away from it at times unnecessarily. It's not a change in the defense. It's not a change in um, what our opponents are, are taking us out of. Um, I think at times we just get bored with it. Um, and, and that's where you have to have the mental fortitude to uh, keep plugging away, doing the right things. Thank you. Last question, Neil. Hey, Coach. A lot of this season, you have preached that, you know, guys are playing hard. You know, it's not necessarily an effort thing. Do you think, you know, in this game, you can say the same thing? Or do you have to go back and, you know, tell guys, you know, this is unacceptable? Or Well, there's some coverage things that, you know, there, there's some mistakes that are unacceptable. Overall, I would say, yeah, the, the effort was solid. Um, but you have too many mistakes. Um, you, you'd be playing hard and, and still, um, you know, it's not, it's not good enough. You know, too many uh, miscommunications, um, you know, too many blown possessions. Um, I think especially in the end of the second, into the third, um, and those things compound themselves. So we have to be able to not only you know, continue to play at a high, high level with our effort, but also we got to focus and continue to, to play the right way. Um, I would say a little bit of both. Um, but it, you know, we game plan was we knew eventually it was going to uh, become a one on one game. Uh, where they they like the ISO, you know, and play one on one on one a lot. So we knew down the stretch they was going to uh, come to that. Um, but I mean, Christian Wood is a great player, but I mean, we we I don't think we we showed any aggressive this toward him when he was going on that run. And I think we just let him line it up the whole time. Uh, and that's been like one of the bigger problems that we've been having. Like, you know, we, we don't take pride in our one on one matchups, you know, and guarding our yard, you know, they, and man, and on the offensive end, it's just, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like possessions after possession, like we, we be lost or like we don't know what's going on. You know, or like half of the players on another play call, or somebody running something and somebody running the other. Like it's it's, it's a lot that that goes on out there, and it's it's confusing. Uh, you know, it's hard. You know, uh, but at the end of the day, we all professionals. You know, and, and this is our job. Uh, we got to be able to come out. You know, and, and and put it together. You know, no matter what, what what's going on. Who's after the next game to talk about the rest of the season building the new habits? You guys have a lot of veterans on the team, obviously. It does come down to things like one-on-one matchups. Like, what is stopping that progress in terms of building the new habits um, as the season goes on? I don't, I don't feel like nothing is stopping it. I mean, we feel like we just got to, you know, take, that, take it to heart, you know. All right, my man, I got to you know, be able to stay in front of my man and not really allow him to get past me, you know, or, um, you know, um, be by, out of help as much, I would say, you know, um, I feel like we don't, we don't guard our, our players one-on-one -on -one as good as we should, you know, and then our help side is a little bit late or they early, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot that goes on. Uh, defensive wise, you know, but to try to bend, uh, you know, bring a winning culture over here, like it has to, everybody has to be like on the same page. Everybody has to, you know, know their role, you know, know what's going on on the court, you know, and just play to they, you know, play their game to the best of their ability. But I mean, I feel like we, we do a lot of one on one things, which we don't have a team right now. Uh, for that, you know, we have to play together, you know, uh, and that's how we're going to win more games, you know, playing together and then becoming a, a, a unit out there. Wes brought up the Clippers loss from earlier season. How do you compare these two either how happened or how you're feeling after 
I mean, it was up 12 at half. I mean, and then they came out, went on 11, what, over on, I want to say 11, or whatever it was. Uh, and it just went from there, you know. Um, they had the momentum and we couldn't get stops. You know, that was a big thing uh, for us while we couldn't get stops uh, when we needed them. Uh, and I won't say comparing it to the Clipper games, pretty much I will say the same. You know, we had to lead, you know, going into the fourth or um, the both games, I would say. Um, and we just got lazy, I would say. You know, we started, like, letting them get whatever they want. Um, and I think I, I, we didn't have enough pride out there to, like, to, to go get the win. You know, it, I think what the, our biggest thing is we worry about the offense a little too much. Rui had his second start today. How did you think the way he played there? Uh, he played well. You know, Rui's always, you know, been that type of score. Uh, you know, and we need that uh, from him. Uh, uh, and also a solid defender, you know, could be a little better. You know, he, you know, he can guard his yard. Um, but, you know, Rui has been, he's been great for us all season since he's been back. He, he, as a leader who's also kind of a quiet leader, how would you go about approaching talking guys after this one? Um, about? Individually, you know, just to see, you know, what they was thinking, you know, what could we done better, you know, um, or just, just, just talking about the game, you know, whatever was on their mind, you know, I'll sit there and listen, you know, and then just, you know, give my opinion. And we just, we just having conversations. Uh, pretty much, like, just try to, Talk to each each person individually, or if we're talking in, amongst each other, you know, just to talk you know, and see what's going on, see what we can do better. You know, everybody has a, a platform where they can they can say whatever they want. You know, for the team, you know, what can we do better? Um, and I I think that's been good for us. You know, just been able to like to have that dialogue within each other. All right, last question, Neil. Hey, KCP, um, when you say lazy, I guess, what is the way that you try and just root that out and, you know, just make sure that it does become a reoccurring habit as it, you know, sometimes has played you guys this season? I mean, I'm not saying we are lazy out there. Um, I'm just saying, like, as far as defensive wise, like, we, it's not as much effort, you know, um, that we should give. Um, you know, we, we saw it at times where, you know, we, we did help in each other. You know, we getting back to our man. We guarding one-on-one. -on -one, you know, we rebounding and get out and push it. Uh, uh, I mean, we saw it at times, but it has to be consistent. You know, I think that's one thing that we lacking is the cons consistency uh, on offensive and defensive. Obviously, you've had a lot of never. One thing, do you think the issues came more from the offensive and defensive side of the ball? Um, good question. I don't know. It's I would have to watch the game and just see, but it's just kind of second half started going downhill a little bit, and they took the momentum. Woods played incredible. Hit uh, I don't know how many threes and really got hot in the second half. It was hard to stop him. Um, and yeah, and the offensive things just weren't clicking as well as they were in the first half for us. So, yeah, tough loss. Wes has been talking a lot about after losses, you guys letting people do things they're good at. Is that a kind of breakdown between the scouting report or, like, uh, how do you view that kind of issue? I don't know. I, at the end, you know, even though their record might not be the best, they're still an NBA team, you know, and once they got going, it was it was hard to stop. Uh, they were all making shots, um, played really well offensively. Tough, tough second half for us, you know. I, what can I say? Uh, we just uh, let this one let this one just get out of our hands, and uh, at the end, they're a young athletic group, played with a lot of energy, got the crowd into it, and boom, that, that was it. They just, they just kept kept building that momentum and that lead. 
time you guys have a good window for now. Say, I feel like we can build up this. When you feel like it's stopping that progress from happening. I don't know. I think I think we have to stay together as a team, stay together as a group. Um, you know, guys who have been in the league for longer, you know, there's always ups and downs. And, and at the end, it's just the team that sticks to what what you need to do, that stays disciplined, that does do all the small small details right. Those are the teams that at the end are building and heading in the right direction. You know, what you can do is just after a bad loss, everybody go their way. Oh, this this is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. You know that's that's not the way to to build a, a successful team. You know, so um, I think yeah, just staying together right now is key for us and and, uh, and having fun. We have to have fun. You know, we have to go out there and play with the energy and share the ball, um, and then things will will, will, will correct themselves. Uh, Tight game, Minnesota against Dallas. Yeah. Um, Dallas up four, fourth quarter, minute left. Yeah. Well, you had some really good passing games in the first half, especially. How do you feel like you're building your chemistry? Yeah, no, Rui is really talented. He has really good things in his game. I think uh, next step for him is um, is reading the game better, and uh, you know, not only um, he's an offensive threat, you know. And he has a really good body. He knows how to use it. Uh, and then, you know, the next step, I think, for him is also to uh, find more situations where he can be aggressive, where he can, you know, create for his teammates or or because he's playing well and shooting the ball well, now he can get a, his teammate an open look, things like that. I think that will be the next step for him. But, but uh, well, so far, what I've seen from him is, is really good. Was it hard to make a defense adjustment on Christian, being the fact that he is a player who likes to drive to the basket a lot, but he just got hot from three point range? Yeah, no, he's he's good everywhere. I mean, he's you guys know he's good. He's good. He's a good player. Um, has the outside shot, has the length, has the athleticism, and 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 yeah, and, and he's one of those guys that can get going, and then it's and then then it's hard to stop him. Uh, he tonight for him was one of those nights, um, and and uh, I, I don't know I don't haven't even checked the stats for them and stuff what they did but but uh, he definitely you know had a huge game a huge impact on his game. Cool. I right, gotta go to Zoom Chase. AP, what was it like you know during timeouts in the huddle is, is you know you guys are up twenty three and then just that huge swing as you guys try to stop it and turn the game around. Uh, the main thing I think we were trying to translate to each other or transmit to each other was just staying calm. You know, not now. Now we're not gonna get the momentum back or or, or get the lead back with one possession. You know, it has to be slow and it's just we we weren't able to find that that turning point. You know, I try to get that technical foul on purpose to kind of you know stop their you know maybe momentum in a way and, and kind of give us some energy. Um, don't think I'm a hothead, you know. I I I, I did it on purpose, you know. I thought there was, um, it was a basket, and and uh, and just reacted. But yeah, even after that, we kind of just couldn't couldn't get our energy where and, and our game at the level that that we wanted to. Um, yeah, that's that's it, you know. On to the next one. And there were a few plays in the first half uh, where you were set up uh, by Denny Abdia, kind of running the floor. What what have you uh, made of his playmaking and his ability with the ball in his hands so far? Yeah, he has really good instincts uh, for finding his teammates, pushing the ball in transition. He's not afraid to make a play. I really like that about him. And uh, and yeah, he uh, mm, he's, he's 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 real good. He's real like sneaky with those passes. You know, he was just kind of driving to the rim, and he knew I was there, and then boom, he just threw it back to me without looking. Uh, so he's he's. Uh, um, that was pretty cool from him, and, and I expect more of those plays as he you know, keeps building his, his game up. 